We are back on Taking Care of Business on News Talk, 1180 KERN, 1230 KGEO, 1410 KERI, and now in Albuquerque, New Mexico on 1000 KKIM. So, Clay, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little surprised because I think you and I and Bruce Hershenson on almost every other issue would be right on the button. But here we have Syria. He's on one end, you're on the other, and I'm kind of in the middle between the two of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a uh, no-go guy. Yeah, and I, I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned about the consequences. I keep on thinking about that book, Guns of August. I, I keep on seeing this possibly turning into a World War III scenario if that's, we're not careful. That's what I'm concerned about. And unless we get some support from other countries, I can't see us going it alone. Well, the, the fact that the only country that wants to support us is France scares me. Yeah. I mean, they can, they can bring the wine, but what else, what else, what else are they going to do? Well, they wine a lot. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. But, you know, just to wrap it up real quick. They had Syria. They actually owned Syria after World War One. That was part of their their carving of the Ottoman Empire. So they have a vested interest for a lot of a lot of historical reasons, which w- may be one of the reasons why they want to be involved again. So, anyways, we're going to take a dramatic turn. We've got a very very nice, sweet guest in studio, Crystal Figueroa, who was uh, part of Twenty Three ABC and Azteca Bakersfield since two thousand six. She's got a face for TV, Clay, where you and I definitely have a face for radio. Well, I, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I think I'm just going to sit here and enjoy all these amazing compliments. I think I need to come visit you guys a little more often. Marty, Clay, thank you so much for the invitation. It really is uh, both a pleasure and a privilege to be here with you guys this morning. Well, Crystal, I'm going to start out by giving you a little something. Oh, my okay? goodness. On, online the other day, you were, ta- you were asking <gasps> if anybody had any, knew where there was any baklava in yes. Bakersfield. There is a great place in Tehachapi called Petra's Okay. that has the most phenomenal, it's the best baklava north of Los Angeles. Oh, my goodness. And I bought you some yesterday. Yeah, that made my morning. (laughs) See, I brought them donuts this morning. I stopped at Smith's Bakery, brought them a dozen donuts, and then Clay asked me to leave it in the other room. (gasps) Ooh, yummy. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to finish this interview. I think my mouth's going to be full of this baklava. All made, all made with homemade ingredients. Yummy. Okay, what is the name of the place called? Petra. Okay. And it's right across my office in Tehachapi. You got and I it. I highly recommend that place. <gasps> Yummy. I can see the pistachio chunks in there. Awesome. Marty, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's, I, I've been, yes, I've been looking for a now, place with baklava and couldn't find it. So now, now see, this made Clay, my morning. Clay's looking at me like, where's mine? But I'll you three, three and a half years we've been doing the show and I've yet to get anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's there's two pieces here I'll share. Half Thank half. you. Now, I have to tell you, Crystal, he wasn't going to be here today, which I told you. Right. And at the last minute, he his appointment at Sacramento canceled, so he's here. Wonderful. Well, I was in San Francisco yesterday, and ironically, the bridge, the new bridge opened up, so I decided to take a ride over the new bridge. I think the whole community decided to take a ride over oh. the new bridge. It was so backed up yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But what a that. beautiful bridge. Mm-hmm. Four and a half billion dollars to build it. Now, another $240 million to tear down the old bridge. And mm-hmm. and it took 10 years. It was supposed 11. to be Four, 11 wow. is supposed to be a four-year project. Wow. Right. Well, we're so, glad you re- were able to make the trip over here. Well, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Crystal. See, you have to say the nice things, you know. <laughs> you yeah, know. I, I need to come back. I need to make nice. <laughs> I like it here. I get baklava. Yeah. <laughs> so, now you've been uh, with 23 for mm-hmm. a number of years. Yes, yeah, since 2006. Okay, and you're no longer doing the on-air thing at, on 23 in the morning. Right. Well, for I had the privilege for the last seven years to both anchor and report for... 23 ABC. I was there uh, when uh, our old, old, old general manager, you know, acquired Azteca Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. And that was sort of why I was brought on. I was brought in as the crossover talent. So I would be doing the promotional stuff on the air for Azteca because I'm bilingual. Right. And then, of course, my first passion is journalism. So I had the privilege of reporting and anchoring for ABC for many years on the morning show. Mm -hmm. Um, When I came back from maternity leave, I had a new assignment and I was reporting in the evenings with Jackie Parks. Mm -hmm. Um, And it was a little different working nights, but you know, I I got 
I was able to get back out there on the streets and talk to people. So mm-hmm. for the last year, that's what I'd been doing. Um, and then just recently, I accepted a promotion with Azteca Bakersfield. I am now the, it's, it's kind of a long title, <laughs> but I am the executive producer of on-air brand and new media, if that makes sense. Basically, I'll be doing marketing and promotions for them and taking ah. care of all their web stuff. So it's really exciting. We've got a lot of amazing changes happening at 23 in Azteca, so I'm glad that I can still be there and be a part of it. Our guest in studio, Crystal Figueroa, who is now the, what's your title? Ah, are you ready for it? It mm-hmm. is the executive producer of On Air Brand and New Media. I know, it's, it's a long, I complicated it. title. I love it. So Azteca, what's their call signal? KZKC TV. It's TV, and mm-hmm. what channel would that be? So over the air, we are on channel 42. If you have Bright House, you can catch us on 29. Um, and uh, I think we're still on a 23.1, if you've got the old-fashioned stuff going. But yeah, Azteca Bakersfield, channel 42, we are the alternative... Um, we, we want to be the alternative choice of television for our Spanish-speaking families. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't just cater to families who only speak Spanish. You know, 52% of the population here in Kern County is Hispanic, and a big chunk of those people speak English just as well as Spanish. Sure. So sure. we've got amazing programming <laughs> on there. And that what's the basic format? It's it, it kind of mirrors ABC a little bit. In the morning, we do have um, morning talk shows. In the evening, we have our evening news that comes out of Los Angeles. Uh, and in the middle of it all, you know, you've got everything between uh, soap operas to soccer games. Um, so it really does apply to a lot of people. And does it lean in any direction? Politically? Yes. No. No, not politically. So fair and balanced, huh? Of course. Absolutely. (laughs) Okay, now you're going to be gracious enough to uh, speak at my class tonight on media and society. I am. Yes, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. And one of the things I've told the students is that Mm -hmm. everybody comes to it with a bias. Right. Now, some of us are pretty obvious in our bias. Mm -hmm. With some, it's more subtle. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do you see a bias here in Kern County in in the media? Oh, of course. I mean, and I think you you hit the nail on the head by saying it's subtle. You know, as journalists, it is our job to tell, be good storytellers, Mm -hmm. not only kind of keep you entertained with the story, but give you all the information and all the facts. Unfortunately, no matter, you know, whether you want to admit it or not, we all do have an opinion. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, you know, reporters, when you start to write a story, maybe they like, you know, this side of the story a little bit better. So they start to lead in the story with a certain sentence, certain words, different phrases. And I think part of it is, you know, in the newsroom, you kind of have to keep tabs on each other and say, you know what, I like where you're going with that story. But you can't forget to include this, this, and this. Have you ever had to do that? Myself? Mm -hmm. I mean, remind other people that... Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I've had to be reminded myself, you know, Mm -hmm. no matter what the story is, there's always going to be one part of the story that kind of really captures your interest, and you kind of want to bring attention to that first. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yes, even though we are being fair and saying both sides of the stories and giving all the information... Sometimes the creative writing process wants to take right. over a little bit. Sure. And that's when you have to sort of, you know, look at your story again, say, what is most important for the person who is listening to this, for the person who is reading this, watching this? Um, and that's when you have to take a step back a little bit and do a little journalistic editing and things like that. Sure, sure. Just kind of checking yourself mm-hmm. to make sure. Yeah. Right. What's it like working with Mike Hart and Jackie Parks? They are amazing. I'll tell you, I work <laughs> Mike Hart. Let's start with Mike. I love him so much. Um, I, I, is he? What time is it? He's probably still at the station right now, not quite sleeping yet. Um, <laughs> but, you know, for years, I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and he and I were there at 3 a.m. Wow. in the studio. Wow. And we have seen each other at our best and at our worst. And Mike Hart, Mike, I'm going to spill your little secret right now. Five-hour energy is his best friend. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I believe it. It. And when we come back from the break, talk a little bit about Jackie Jackie, Parks, okay? you got it. We'll be back in a moment on Taking Care of Business on News Talk 1180 KERN. 